what's up fam i hope you are good and thank you for checking this video out so um in today's tutorial i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make aka company type beats i'll be using a part from expandy 2 i'll be using a bell from expandy 2 muted guitar from expandy 2 a bass from citrus then an 808 let's get into the tutorial so let's start with the part skill highlighting e minor So let me bring it down an octave. Now let's check it out. So let me copy it to the other side. Then let's work on the bass. Let's start working on the bass. So with the bass, what I'll do is I'll start from the higher octave. this one to here right now it's not making sense but when we bring it down and octave it makes sense you know and we'll also be adding some little weights to the base section of the beat so let's you know let's just continue it will all make sense very soon now let's work on the little weights Then let me go here and you know tame this one a little bit. Let me bring the volume down a little bit. Now let's listen to it. So let me bring let me bring this one here. Oh, then we will make it the triplet. Let me go to the you know this magnet thing here. Then let me bring it on three. Let's listen to how you know the pattern will sound. Then if we have to do some changes, then we will do it. Yep, it's sounding okay. Let's work on the muted guitar now. Let me copy it. Let me put it here. Yeah. Okay, I'll copy the same thing to this side then let me copy it again to you know to get a eight bar loop going now let's work on the bell so with the bell effect we just you know use it to spice the chord progression the part yep so i'll be adding some you know top notes to it too I like this tone so let's check it out with everything let's see you know how it will sound then we move on to the mixing okay so with this one i'll add you know extra notes to it i'm thinking maybe it will give the ending some different vibe so let's listen to it Yep, and it's sounding okay, so let's copy it to the other side, then we'll start the mixing. We'll mostly mix the bass section, you know. With this area, let me fetch a patcher first. So, I have my patcher, so I'll go to Humanizer. I'll give the stereo 100%. Then, let me play with the pitch variation. Okay, so 
let's bring in the drums and yeah, the high hats and the open hats now let's listen to how they sound Okay, let me connect the bass to the 808. Then let me put a fruity limiter here. So let me go here, side chain. Let me side chain it to the bass. Now let me drop all the uh, ratio. Let me drop all the need to. Then I will be playing with the threshold. So let's listen to it whilst we do that. Then let me fetch an EQ, let me make this bass very basic. So I'll be using this EQ to you know, cut the high ends of the bass so that it will sound a little bit more bassy, you know. Now let me go and fetch a fruity bass. Okay, so it, it was fruity bass boost. So this is our fruity bass boost. And um, let's go for, okay, let's reduce the amount. Let's reduce the frequency too. Now let's listen to it whilst you know, we give it the bass. You know, so that it will fit with the um, vibe. Okay, so now let me put a limiter on it, you know, to cut the, it's kind of like sounding too plucky for me. Now I'll be making use of the ceiling here, you know, the limiting se uh, section of the plugin of this fruity limiter. Let me bring the saturation down, then let me put a ratio on it. Let me bring the knee all along in, let me bring the ratio to all in. Now let's listen to how it sounds. Let me create an aux channel here. Then let me connect the bass to it. Then let me go and fetch wave doubler four. Let's listen to it whilst we, you know, we plug in the effect from the aux channel here. Let's go to the bass again, then let's fetch a parametric EQ. Now let's listen to the, you know, the uh, the frequency that pokes out a lot. It's kind of like a mid frequency that is poking out too much. I want to take it out of there. Yep, that's it. Okay, so it's between the sub bass and the bass frequency. So let's listen to how it sounds before, you know, we take it down. Let's take it down. Then let me copy this bass boost, then let me put it back here again. Now let's listen to our sound. Yep, very long, you know, process to get something similar, but it wasn't still sounding authentic like the beat. So let's continue with, uh, you know, everything. Let's see how it sounds with the part and everything with, that we've made so far. Yep, so that's how it sounds. Now we have to put a very big reverb on the muted guitar. So let me create an aux channel. Then let me connect the guitar to it. So I have this bassy and vibey reverb that I'm going to be using. Now let's listen to how only the guitar sounds. Okay, I don't want it to be a muted guitar again. Let's choose a lead guitar. Let's see how it will sound. Okay, now let's, you know, let's bring in everything. Let's play. It. Let's see how it will sound. Let's see where we are.
so that's how it will sound i like it it's sounding great you know it comes with the vibe it goes with the vibe you know so you know drop in the comment section the tutorial you want me to do next and see you all in the next tutorial peace out 24 7 grind grind we've been at this for a long time all the hate all the jealous shit that still we go blow when you're my downfall we are my downfall talk shit we go see